Tonight is August the 31st, 2015, and uh, my many thanks to all of you guys for solving the mystery of this Jan 6B4. As was mentioned, it looks like a 6A V5. It certainly does. And is a pentode wired to uh, perform like a 6B4. And you know what? It actually does work. What I had to do, these guys right here actually will replace these beauties up here. And they work quite well. Um, I'm not going to go through a whole lot of technical stuff here. I just want to make it short. This is the original circuit right here. And that's what I had. What I had to do is change it to this right here. I had to remove the center tap from ground, put a 25 ohm pot. This is 25 ohms. This is a 25 ohm pot. And then put the uh, 850 ohm, the, the same value here, 850 ohm, 10 watt, 100 microfarad capacitor right here off to the center. Now, with the original directly heated uh, tubes, the 6B4Gs, the original 6B4Gs, this right here needs to be adjusted right dead center. And you can actually adjust a THD by adjusting this. But with the, um, the new Jan replacement type tubes, it has to be uh, adjusted to one side. I don't remember which side. It doesn't matter. You just got to turn the pot from one side to the other. I'll show you what I did. <coughs> see, I just see that little black knob back there in the back right there. I put that in. That's that 25 ohm pot. I'm not going to turn it upside down and get into a lot of detail. But if you do happen to buy these uh, Jan 6B4G replacements or substitutes, you probably will have to make this type of adjustment. They are not a directly heated filament and you'll need to turn the pot to an extreme. One extreme or the other. One way will work a lot better than the other way. And then for the real 6B4s you put it in the middle. And that's all it takes. And they work great. Let me show you some uh, some uh, things okay let me see let me bring them all up here um, this is it right here I ran it four times just like I did last night maybe that's a little overkill turn off another light a really good picture of it. Let's see, this is the um, the Jan 6B4s. Nope, I'm wrong. That's the Jan 6B4s. Sorry for the fumbling. Because they actually perform better than, slightly better than, this is the Jan 6B4s. This right here is this tube, the new ones. I actually perform slightly better than, because you can see out here at 25 kilohertz, they're only up to about one and a half percent. They're always, every time I've run this, I've run it at eight watts. This is the original 6B4s. This is before I modified that cathode circuit that I just showed you. This is with the center tap grounded. And all this nonsense down here is caused by some 60 hertz filament hum. Just does terrible things to it. So here's another one of the of the ones. These are original 6B4s. This is uh, the six this is the Jan 6B4s before the the uh, cathode modification circuit. Real 6B4s, there it is again, hideous. And out here, this one right here is actually the Jan 6B4s with the modification. 
it's actually an improvement. It's almost disappointing, isn't it? Because uh, <laughs> I think sometimes we want the old ones to work better. But they actually did a pretty darn good job. But you do have to modify that circuit right here. You probably will have to do this. Now, you know, I don't know what your circuit will be. But I had to change it from that to this. Adjust it in the center for the original 6B4s. And adjust the pot to one extreme or the other for the uh, replacement Jan 6B4s. So if you buy these things and they don't work exactly right, then hopefully this will uh, help you solve your problem. Thanks again, guys. You guys are good. Sure appreciate your help.